Good day, everyone. I'm Adele Navrat from, from Bombay Scotter School from Grade 6B. Today, I'm going to show you my project, Bird Detectors, which is meant to detect birds of various species from the Indian subcontinent in the Sanjay National Wildlife Park in Bodavli. Let's begin. So, this is my project. I have used Teachable Machines to code this. And here is my Teachable Machine screen. In most of the uh, our classes, there are more than 20 images. Okay, so here's my project. Hello, I'm Explorer Kudai. I will guide you through an exciting view of birds at the Sanjay National Park. I am an AI machine coded via Dan Nazareth. I am trained to identify birds of the Indian subcontinent. I also have been trained to understand the difference between you and birds. Let's begin. Here are a few guidelines if you want to spot birds or animals without scaring them. In the first place, try not to use your phone. Keep its volume low and keep it on airplane mode. Wearing their color clothes helps camouflage you helping you to get closer to animals. Do not touch any foreign objects you haven't seen before. Avoid touching birds. Their nest are eggs, especially those of endangered species. Don't pluck flowers, fruit or leaves of unknown, rare or poisonous species. Stay far from wildlife. And don't forget to throw your trash in the bin. Let's begin. Click on the click button to begin checking. So as you can see, this AI is meant to help us identify the difference between um, different kinds of birds. And it's able to identify whether it's a human picture or a bird picture or anything else. So to begin, I'm going to say click on the click uh, option. And I'm going to show this bird called the black drongo. If I if I don't show the tail properly, it may mistake it as another bird. Let's try it. Yes, let's look. Hmm, that's a black jungle, all right. What a wonderful thing to see. It's not as common, you know. So it's taken this as a black jungle, which is correct. Now let us try an Indian Oriole. Yes. Let's look. Wow, a golden orion. If you didn't know, you also have a Asian golden orion too. So that is also correct. This is an Asian paradise fly catcher. Let's try it. Yes, let's look. Ha, huh, can't get me humans. So my image is a bit blurred. Let's try this again. Yes, let's look. Ha, huh, can't get me human. So this image is not working because it's a bit blurred. So let's try this image. It's a sunbird and it's here. Yeah, it also looks like a bee eater. So let's try it. Yes, let's look. Hmm, that's a purple lump from the doll, right? They are nectar eating sunbirds that are endemic to the Indian subcontinent. These hummingbird sized birds are commonly observed feeding on bright colored flowers. Dew bathing or bathing by sliding and dry. So that's also correct. Let's try one more image, which is a bit tough. It is an oriental magpie robin. Yes, let's look. Hmm, that's an oriental magpie robin, all right. What a wonderful thing to see. The oriental magpie robin, Corpsychus solari, is a small passerine bird that was formerly classed as a member of the chest sham. Consider an old world fly catcher. So this is my project. So, so what is this for? So what do I actually love about AI? Uh, see, within, uh, within a few decades, AI has become really, really, has become really, really advanced. It has, um, it has, even though we have, it's, um, yeah. So AI is able to identify many other stuff. Over here, we have used the Excel. We have used the one of the five big ideas of AI, which is perceived. So how can this be used in the real world? 
This image detector can be used to identify deep fake images and can also help blind people. We have learned three, different, three big uh, uh, ideas of AI, that is machine learning, a perceive, and now we're learning a new one. So this is all that I've got for today. Thank you.